Week 10 of the high school football season brings us to Mesa College for the Holy Bowl. St. Augustine Saints taking on the Cathedral Catholic Dons in another edition of this rivalry. Cathedral has won the last four meetings between the two schools. Cathedral Catholic enters with a 3-5 record after two straight losses to Lincoln and Madison, each by 14 points. But the Dons had leads in the second half of both of those games. Jack Stevens and Will Bond will look to lead Cathedral to a fifth straight win in this rivalry and snap their two-game losing streak. St. Augustine comes in with a 3-6 record. The Saints have also lost two games in a row to Lincoln and Madison. The Saints are led by freshman quarterback Brady Palmer, who has just under 1,000 passing yards and nine touchdowns through the air. The Saints get off to a strong start on their opening drive. It's the freshman connection. Brady Palmer finds a wide open Parker Johnson for a 14-yard touchdown. It's 7-0. Cathedral answers in the second quarter. Ethan Ford punches it in from a yard out. It's all knotted up at seven. Later in the second, the Dons defense makes an appearance in the highlights. Marcus Ratcliffe makes a one-handed interception. Cathedral gets the ball in Saints territory. That leads to points for the Dons. Ty Cortez rumbles in from four yards out. Cathedral takes a 14-7 lead. St. Augustine answers before the half. Palmer. Hits Johnson in stride for a 26-yard touchdown, and it's 14-14 at the break. To the third quarter, Don's up 21-14. Now Palmer and the Saints go to the air again, and guess who it is? Johnson makes an incredible catch in the back of the end zone. The two freshmen connect for their third touchdown of the game. It's tied at 21. We go to the fourth quarter now. This is where things get crazy. Cathedrals, Victory Johnson comes up with an interception and is headed the other way. He's thinking pick six, but he's brought down on the Saints' 10-yard line. Just two plays later, Ford sprints into the end zone from three yards out in his second of the game. The Dons back in front, 28-21. After a Saints punt, Cathedral is threatening again. Jack Stevens hits William Alexander on a slant for a four-yard touchdown. The Dons go up 14. It's 35-21. But don't count out the Saints. Palmer not playing like a freshman, throws his fourth touchdown of the game. This one a 24-yarder to Isaiah Haston. Saints within a score, it's 35-27. But Cathedral puts the game away on their ensuing drive. Will Bond takes the handoff up the middle. Looks like it'll be a short game, but he breaks loose and takes it 50 yards to the house. Cathedral wins the Holy Bowl. 41-27. Feels awesome, man. We put a lot of the work in. Been through a lot of adversity as a team. We talked a lot as a team about how we do a lot of talking, but we need to put in the work now and start to do it. And we came out, we did it. We battled some adversity. You know, it was a great game. We faced adversity, and our team just pulled in together, and we we got the dub. It wasn't it wasn't the perfect dub, but we still got it. We have to stay humble and get to the next game. It's it's always great to get a rival win. You know, it shouldn't have been as close as, as, as it was in the first half, but I felt we came out and responded to a little bit of adversity. So I, I was happy with the way we played, happy to, with the way we persevered. I could take the effort that our underclassmen put in, and we could build on that going forward. This offseason, we're going to work very hard, and we'll bounce back next year. What an awesome game tonight between two rival teams. For the Saints, it was two freshmen who stole the show. For Cathedral, it was timely turnovers and the running game, which propelled them to victory. The Dons made just a few more plays than the Saints tonight, and that was the difference in the game. Cathedral Catholic wins the Holy Bowl for the fifth straight year. For the Prep Pixie Report, I'm Devin Reiners.